You don't listen. You need to listen to the doctor. I know, you're like my mom. I have a lot of people on the internet. Can you explain that love her? That care about her? Today, look. Today, I'm gonna give you, look. $3,000 for once in her life to not worry about everyone else and to worry about herself. Can you tell her? What's up everybody? Welcome back to another beautiful day here in Bangkok, Thailand. It's been a while. It's been a few months since I've been back here, but man, this energy, this city is exactly what I needed. Now, you might be like, Chris, why are you holding a purse right now? Well, I promise you guys, I don't walk around with purses. <laughs> Nothing against it, just not my style. But today, we're gonna be giving 3,000 US dollars to my favorite Thai lady here in Bangkok, Thailand. Now, um, last month, I created a GoFundMe to raise some money for Mealy, who you guys have seen here on the channel several times. She's a beautician that works here in Chinatown. And over the course of the last two years, We've created a little bit of a bond together and now she's like my Thai grandma. Every time I'm in Bangkok, I come and visit her. Uh, she takes us out to lunch. We take her out to lunch and man, it's been a great little relationship so far. Now, a few months ago, we arrived here to Bangkok and unfortunately she was very sick. She had a lot of problems with her hip and her leg and she couldn't work um, all that often anymore. And I made a video talking about her situation and thanks to you guys, we were able to raise um, two thousand one hundred dollars and as I promised I'm gonna be matching the first thousand so um, right here we actually got three thousand dollars cash money Thai money because well you guys know um, GoFundMe actually took away like 271 bucks so I just went ahead and rounded it all, all up completed the full three thousand and we have it here in the purse which I'll show you in a second but first I gotta introduce you guys to two important people in today's video we got Brad and we got Chris and Chris is actually Brad's wife. You guys have been married for how long now? Six months. Six months, yeah, six months. Six months? Man, Brad almost messed that one up right now. <laughs> no, I'm just like, she was almost like, you better answer right, you know? <laughs> no, but six months, man, they are such a, such a lovely couple, great friends, and she's actually from Chiang Rai. So today, for the first time, we're actually gonna be able to understand everything that Millie says because we're gonna have Chris as a translator. Now, Chris, um, actually, please go and support her channel out as well. She makes incredible videos in the Chiang Rai region. And what's the name of your channel again? Chris, a Chiang Rai girl. Chris, a Chiang Rai girl. And what can people expect to see on there? Uh, I do everything about my lifestyle, organic gardening, cooking, uh, traveling. Wow, awesome. And Brad also has a channel as well. I'll leave his links down below. Support both of them really good friends they're actually about to be moving to the u.s here in about a week and a half so i'm, I'm a bit sad i'm not gonna have my thai buddy anymore uh, we still, we, meet, up. We'll we still, still meet, up. meet up but yeah. every time i come to bangkok man this is my go-to boy like we're always having a good time and this is my first time meeting krisna but she's so lovely as well so thank you guys for joining me i appreciate it of course man now um krisna's never met Mealy, but you have what, are, what what can you say about Mealy before we walk up to her what kind of person is she she's a genuine person i actually met her with you for the first time but i've gone back to her a couple times since then first of all she has her service and she is a hard working woman but she's also just so friendly so sweet she always like takes care of you make sure you're comfortable make sure your bag's there and she always gives you like a nice drink to make sure you're like quenched throughout the day yeah yeah really yeah. really cool it's so nice every time we sit down she treats us like if we're at home okay well you know what let me show you guys what I got in my bag. Can you help me real quick, Brent? Yes, sir. I'm gonna show you guys what I got in the bag. Actually, let's get a little closer because this is a lot of money, guys, in Thailand, in anywhere in the world. But this is what we're working with. So we got 100,000, right about 100,000 um, Thai bots. So a big stack of money. Um, each one of these notes is roughly like 33 US dollars right now, guys. So um, there's 100 of these bad boys in there. So a lot of money. So. Right now, I think Chris is going to don the purse. Guard that with your life. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. Um, you got nothing to worry about here in Thailand. But yeah, let's make our way over to Mealy. But yeah, thank you guys so much for um, making this happen. Seriously, without you guys, this wouldn't have been possible. And if you guys do enjoy this video, please let me know so that we can go ahead and create more like this in the future. Now, um, Chris, we were actually doing the math yesterday. And you were telling me that... 
for most street vendors and street workers here in Thailand, what is the minimum salary, monthly for, salary? For labor, uh, about 300 baht per day. 300 baht per day, so around 10 US dollars per day. You were telling me that the minimum salary here in Thailand right now in a rural village, like in a place that you live, is how much roughly a month? A month? About uh, $8,000, 7 8000 8, per month. Per month. Wow, that is like a little less than $200 a month. That is a crit man, that's incredibly low salaries. But you're, but you're telling me that in places like Chiang Rai and the small villages, like people can actually get by with that if they actually um, cook their own food, right. grow their own vegetables like you do. People can actually sustain themselves on that, but it's a very tight uh, yes. budget, right? Right. Yeah. So you can imagine here in Bangkok, it's probably a lot more expensive. Oh, right. What do you think the minimum salary would be here in Bangkok? Uh, maybe about 12,000. 12,000? 12, yes. Okay, what is 12,000? Help me out, Brad. <laughs> Brad's the mathematician. I think that's like three grand. I mean, 300 bucks a month. Either way, guys, incredibly low salaries today with the amount of money that we've been able to raise. We are about to bless this lady and this is undoubtedly a life-changing donation. I mean, $3,000 is a lot of money for anybody. It's a lot of money for me. Yeah, to for, be honest, I, mean, I don't have $3,000 that I can just go spend on whatever I want right now. Like, yeah. if I go and touch three grand, that is a huge amount of money. Yeah, it's crazy. So for someone, we, we did some math earlier, for someone who's living in the north, that could be like three years salary. A Working three years salary. Full time, three years. Wow, man, incredible. Wow. And Mealy, I feel like she, man, she's earned, she, she's earned this and so much more with how many smiles she's put on people's faces. And there's so many people from all around the world. Now, with, now that we have Chris, we're gonna be able to fully understand um, how large of an impact our videos have made, but she has literally a, a photo album on her phone with all the people that come and visit her off of my videos. Oh, that's cool. It's incredible. So, yeah, she's gonna be so happy to see us right now. Hopefully she's here. Now, this is where she's located, right outside the Wat Mang Khon MRT station. So this is the MRT station. If you guys get out, just walk straight down this street, and that's where you'll be able to find Mealy. When was the last time you were here, Brad? Ooh, uh, I think maybe a year? Has it been a year? No, we, we've been to Vietnam and we come back to Bangkok for two weeks. Oh, a couple, uh, couple months ago, yeah, a couple, two months ago. That was the last time you saw Mealy? I think so. Yeah. Wow, okay. So Brad has actually seen her before I did. I saw her three months ago. <laughs> I'm nervous, guys. I don't get too nervous too often, but I think you guys could probably tell as well. I'm over here sweating and everything. It's okay, crazy. well, that's Walking not, that's not that anything... Out of the ordinary yeah it feels weird walking down with <laughs> down the street with that much money you know okay let's hope to see mealy here today so yeah on this street is where you're gonna find all the different like um stylist beauticians that work on the street you got a lot of people also selling like vintage items yeah they're more like swap meets almost like a flea market you can find like the craziest stuff on on these streets hello Oh, beautiful items. Maybe next time. Thank you. Cup and cup. Oh, yeah. Mealy's here. I can see her. I see her. You see her? Yeah, yeah man. Uh, she's busy. Man, she's always in action working. All right. You know what? Maybe you can help me out, Brad? Got you. I want to give her a big hug. The moment she's oh, I can see that she's limping still, too. Ah! <laughs> How are you, Mimi? How are you? It's good to see you. How's work? I like candy. Is your work busy? Oh, you're looking for Gladys. Yeah, after this, after this. Yeah, after this. Yeah, after this. No, Gladys not here today. Yeah, after this. Yeah, after this. Yeah, you remember Brad? Oh, I was in Egypt. Egypt, Oh, yeah, Egypt. Can you tell her that after, after the, um, after her, can I sit down? About half an hour. About half an hour. Yeah. 
Okay, I, I come back half an hour, okay? Him, I'm next, okay? Okay. Half an hour, I <laughs> come back. Can be you, you want She asked about uh, Gladys. Oh, Gladys is at home right now. She's in uh, Venezuela. Can you tell her? I, I came here and I told you I was going to propose. My <laughs> That's his yes, wife. Yeah, my wife, yes. yes. <laughs> okay, Millie, I come back, okay? okay, okay. 30 oh. minutes, okay? It's so good to see you. So um, tell her I'll be back here in 30 yeah. minutes. We'll be back. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, I come back. Yeah, it's so funny. I always gotta. Um, I'm, I, I come and visit her quite often, so I always make sure I reassure her that I'm coming back because she always says, come back, come back, come back, make sure you come back. Definitely like straight grandma vibes, but um, we'll be back cool here in a bit. Uh, have Chris talk to her. Exactly. Yeah, first time I'm having a translator. Man, this is going to be awesome. I got so many questions for her. So um, let's relax for a bit and we'll come on back and get ready to surprise Mealy. Just got done resting up. We've actually took a little bit longer than 30 minutes. You guys excited? Super excited, man. Now, um, we, when we left, Chris and I actually stopped and talked to Mealy a bit longer, and you were telling me that her name, so obviously because I say it with the English accent, I call her Mealy. I've been calling her Mealy for years, but how do I actually say her name? Mali. Mali. Yes. And then you said you got to put Ma Mali. Me Mali. Me Mali, which means Mama Mealy. Yes. <laughs> Me Mali. Okay, now I got it down. All right, let's cross the street and see if she's ready for us. But yeah, this, guys, this part of the city, it's one of my favorites. There's always so much going on, so much happening. This is where Mealy always buys us a juice from, from this lady. But yeah, as you saw when we were approaching her stand earlier today, yeah. there's all kinds of vendors and other beautician shops going on along the street and everybody's copied Mealy's signs. Oh, wow. But we were the first ones to do it. <laughs> I made her a sign two years ago and now all of a sudden everybody has signs up. It's quite funny. But yeah, let's see if it's our turn. But yeah, all kinds of cool stuff being sold here on the side of the streets in Chinatown. We're not too far away from our shop now. So yeah, if you're ever looking for Mealy here in Chinatown, she's right in front of Chinatown Mall. If you just type in Chinatown Mall, she's right in front of it. And there's all kinds of good places to eat here. It always makes for a good time. Okay. Well, here's Mama Mili. I guess we'll have to sit down and wait a little bit longer. I sit down and wait for you. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, you can tell that Mili's leg is still not filling 100%. Oh, she's bringing more chairs. One for Brad and one for Chris. Oh, change. Oh, this one's broken. Okay. Cup and cup. Thank you. What, sit down, Krishna. Yeah, you can sit down there. All right. Oh wait, I just took Brad's seat. Hold on, that was rude. Okay. Sit down, Brad. You I'll can take get the that one. one. I'll sit on this one. There you go. Cup and cup. Cup and Okay. All right. Well, we'll wait a little bit longer, and then it's game time. I'm excited. Chris, tell her we ate on purpose because we know that every time she takes us to eat. Can you tell her? <laughs> Can you tell her I missed her so much? I miss you. I miss you so much. I miss you so much more. <laughs> All right, she's finishing up her customer. Man, I love this lady so much. Her vibes, huh, Chris? Don't her yes. vibes? It, she makes anybody feel like her mom. Yeah, that's right. I love she it. She is so sweet. Such a sweet lady, man. So she just got done wrapping up with a client. I think it's almost my turn to go up next. But man, her massage looks so nice. I'm ready for mine. So I don't know exactly what all the services that Mealy has to offer. Every time I sit down here, I get eyebrow threading, a facial, and a washa. But um, today we got Chris now with us, and she's gonna she's gonna find out all the details that I don't know about her business. And we're gonna get to know Mealy on another different level today, and I'm so excited for that because what this the first time we met her here on the channel together was like two years ago. I was hiding out from the rain, and she made me a, 
a plastic bag of like raincoats and it, that actually went viral. I made it on the news um, and then I came back and I gave her like a hundred dollar tip. It was right when the channel started. So to be able to come back and pay it forward again is just incredible. Oh, she's giving her a little leg massage. Oh, a hip massage. Okay, maybe there is, maybe there is a little bit more time. But um, yeah, I'm excited. Definitely looking forward to this. And as I always mention, the best part about getting a massage on the street is the vibes. Like seeing all the cars driving by, the energy. It's nice. Not many other places in the world you can do this. You ready for me, Mili? <laughs> all right, Brad. Brad's gonna help me with the camera today. Now it's my turn. So happy to see you. I miss you so much. I miss you so much more. How are you? I'm gonna eat. Oh, she's doing fine. Okay. I brought my friend today to talk with you. How's your leg? How's your leg? Oh, yeah, I can see it's very swollen. Have you been working the entire time? No days off. No days off, huh? You never take a day off. You need to relax. You guys hear that? She does. She takes no days off because she actually loves her job and she misses being here. Oh, so she's gone to physical therapy twice. How long has she been with the leg pain now? Wow, it's expensive. Yeah. And how long how, how long has she had her leg pain for now? One month. When I was here last time, huh? Like three months. Three months is when she first hurt her leg. Then. One month. Now it's very bad, huh? You don't listen. You need to listen to the doctor. <laughs> Tell her. You need to listen to the doctor. I know. You miss me as a customer. I'm your favorite customer, huh? Miss you so much. Look at her. I know, you're like my mom, my Thai mom. You're my Thai mom. Oh, thank you so much. I know. Can you? And Gladys is your daughter. I know, Gladys is so sad that she's not here right now. She wants to come see you. I'm gonna be in Thailand three weeks. And I just arrived. So I'll be back many times to see her. Yeah, I come back many times. Tell her, tell her this week I'll come by for lunch. Okay. 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 Okay.
Hano. Good to meet you. Chris, Chris, Mama. Yeah. Hano, Hano, Jack, Chiang Rai. They're leaving. They go to Chiang Rai. No, they will go to Chiang Rai. 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 When Gladys is going to come. And Andrew, Andrew go. So she's asking about Gladys and Andrew. Gladys and Andrew will come with, come to Thailand in March. Can you tell uh, her? Andrew and Mina. Andrew will come in March. In March. Andrew and Jamie. Mina will come back. Yeah, we come back. We'll come back. For sure. Many times. Every time, you know. Kabun Kab. Thank you. It's so nice to see you. Yes, can I do just eyebrow? eyebrow. Uh, Only okay. eyebrow, because I want you to relax today. Eyebrow, the eye, uh, back head, back head. Okay, black head. Okay. Yeah, let's remove the black head, so why not? You can see many black head. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Every time I come here, I feel like a little, a little ugly, but every time I leave, I feel like handsome man. Can you tell her? <laughs> Can you ask Millie how many years has she worked here for? More than 10 years. More than 10 years. And before here, where did she work? this as a profession because of her father so um, yeah really interesting to hear so her father is Chinese and her mother is Thai okay and can you ask Millie how many customers does she get in one day Obviously, just like many other places in the world, it's better to start your own business to get a little bit further ahead in life. Because like she was saying, she was working crazy hours before and making sometimes le less than what she's making right now on the street doing her own business. Man, that's crazy. So two to three customers a day. And what is the average price of her service? Like a hundred baht, can you ask? Uh, what she's doing right now is removing her blackheads. Now, how did how did she learn this technique? <laughs> she said it. She created it. She created this. Yes. She tried it. Okay. So can you tell her is this is is this why she looks so beautiful because of the technique? Because 
อสวยมากสวยมากครับสวยมากครับแล้วยูก็แฮนซัม Thank you ครับครับ You make me handsome Okay, little dirty. Okay, good. Yeah, she always gets rid of my uni brow every time I sit down here. But now she's gonna dry it off a little bit. Okay. Yeah, because everybody wants to do your services. Oh, can you ask her? Ever since these videos came out on YouTube, how many people from around the world have come and said hi to her? Okay. Long video, Many people. Switzerland. Wow. Then they come here and see her, huh? Yes. Do the people actually come and do this, or do they just come and say hi? Oh, okay. Well, that's very nice. If you guys come to Bangkok and you don't come say hi to her, I'm gonna be disappointed. Come and say hi to Mili. Thank you so much. Can you tell her that? So much, so much. You help me so much. Can you tell her that? Um, she's changed my life because seeing her smile and like her energy every time I come here, it just makes me so happy. And even when I'm having a bad day, like she. Literally gets me inspired to go out and like make videos and you know I really enjoy seeing her. exactly how we met so two years ago it was pouring rain I was wearing brand new shoes and she made me a raincoat and she made me yeah. my shoes plastic bags to cover my shoes I she gave us a hug after that we had never even talked and I left I could I kept thinking about Mealy for like the whole night and the next morning I was like I gotta come back here and see what she does I came back here I did my eyebrows with her and I gave her a hundred dollar tip and ever since that day we've come by and I've come and had lunch with her so many times. Ask her, how many times have I come here without oh, making videos? So many times to visit this lady. Many times, huh? She's the first person I see every time I come to Thailand. If you ever hear that Chris is coming to Bangkok, come here and you're going to see me here. Like, this is literally where I come every time. It's like a very good bonding. She's my Thai mom. Yes. You're my Thai mom. How do I say How do I say I love her in Thai? Pom lak kun. Pom lak kun. Pom lak kun. I miss you. So much miss you. Thank you. Thank you. Love you as a son. Thank you so much. I love you like a mom. Oh, oh, time to come off. No more blackheads. Oh. 
Oh, that's gross. Oh. Is it hurt? No. I mean, it doesn't feel like really good, but it doesn't hurt. That one does. Oh. Wow. Oh, that's so gross. You guys can't see that on the camera, but she pulled out like... My, I walk around with a nose that looks like a strawberry 90% of the year. When I come here, she gets them out. Can you ask Mealy about her family? How many kids does she have? I think she only has one son, but maybe you can clarify that for me. Oh, four kids. Yeah, yeah. All boys. All boys. I thought, I for some reason thought you yeah, had one son. <laughs> four. Oh, what are their ages? Uh, you know, like, uh, the, the oldest one, uh, more than 30. Oh, wow. Okay. 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 And does her, all of her kids live here in Bangkok? They move out and Oh, okay. But Mili, you were born, you were born in Bangkok? Oh, so you're Bangkok. Bangkok in the heart. Okay. Look how she puts the line around her neck. I think it's cool because in a lot of places around the world, they actually put it in their mouth when they do the threading, but here they do it around the neck. Oh, and this is painful for me, guys. Like, this hurts for me. I start sweating and everything every time. I don't know how women can, like, thread their whole face because for me, it is, like, the most painful thing. Oh, yeah, that doesn't feel good. Oh, no. I'm gonna leave looking like a new man, Mealy. Oh. Yeah, that doesn't feel the nicest, guys. Oh. No. Mealy. <laughs> you know I'm sensitive. That hurts? Okay, okay, a few more. Oh. Yeah. Okay, cop. Oh, Mili, you hurt me right now. Can you take it? Yeah, okay, a little bit more. A little bit more. Oh. Yeah, it hurts. Okay. You're gonna make me cry, Mili. I'm so handsome. Thank you, God. So see if you're like a, I'm not a single guy, but if you guys are a single guy, you might want to just come sit here and then you get called handsome too. Can you ask Mealy how's business today? Slow or good? Oh, okay. So Chinese New Year, many people here. Oh, okay. Are you celebrating? You celebrate? Yes. What do you what do you do for Chinese New Year?
Sorry, I can't okay. talk, guys. Okay, good. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Strong man. Oh, man. That's painful. Ask her, what does she have in her basket? I always see her carrying this huge basket. What's inside? a <laughs> lot. That's where she keeps all of her gear, all of her equipment. Can you ask her if many men sit here or is it more ladies? Oh, men and women come yes. here. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, this morning, the, um, she had one man customer that's uh, I love you guys, man. You guys have changed my life and everybody else's life. I'm so grateful. Please guys, after this video, I want all of you guys to flood her with business. Like everybody needs to come here. Everybody needs to get a service with her. Come and just let's make Mealy's 2024 like so special. I want everybody to come here. Tell everybody in Thai to come here right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying this video. I genuinely, even when the camera's not rolling, this is how I'm literally having interactions 90% of my time. I have somebody that speaks a language and this is how you communicate. So I hope you guys are finding it quite fun and hopefully you feel like you're right here getting your small little hairs pulled out of your face with me. Now usually I do a, a full on massage too, but um, today, well we actually have been spending quite a bit of time here and we we're really short on time. Brad and Krishna, they're actually leaving in like two days back to their hometown. Oh, that hurts. Oh, that hurts. Oh, hold on, give me a second guys. Oh, yeah, dude, when they pull one hair at a time, like, it feels a lot worse than, like, threading or waxing. No wax. Threading, right now. Threading, threading. Wax, no good. No wax, threading. Okay. I feel like I look better already. I was struggling these last few weeks. I needed this makeover. But yeah, Brad and Chris are leaving in a few days, so I'm trying to spend as much time with them, and we got a whole list of things that we got to do today. And we've, we've already been sitting here like roughly an hour and a half, huh, Brad? Yeah, yeah. It's been a while. She actually took a few more clients before we made it back. I think we stood in Starbucks a little bit too long, but it's fine. Like I said, I come back here and hang out with her quite often. Oh, she's gonna love it right now. It's gonna be amazing. Chris, so Mili took me to her house last time I was here, and I met her sisters. Can you ask her who else lives in the same house? She has four sisters. Four sisters? Yeah. And she lives with all of them? Yes. Wow. All together, about seven, eight people. Eight people in one house? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I was wondering, last time I went to her house, there were so many people. All your sisters live with you. 
Beautiful sister, Swai Ma yeah, sisters. Oh, okay. I'm a sweetheart, what can I say? No, 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 no. No, it's okay. I, I, I go to barber shop later. Shave. The thread? Too painful for me. Uh, Ask Millie if she likes my beard or should I get rid of it? She asked that do you have your barber yet? Yeah, I have my barber shop. Yes. You don't like? No good? Yeah, I need a trim, huh? Yeah, I need trim. Trim, yeah. Lee Noi, Lee Noi. Okay. I go to the barber shop later. Lee Noi. Lee Noi, come. You eat? I already ate Mili. See, Mili always tries to invite me to food. You know what, though? Um, so, I think I want to. Um, so, yeah, I want to give this to her, but we're on the main street, man. It's so hard. Like, this is a lot of money. So, Mili, um, I got a question. So, is Mili going to continue physical therapy or what's going to happen next to make sure that her leg is better? What does she want to do for her leg? Okay. Can you ask her? Um, every week. And they never tell her yet how long it's gonna be until she feels better. Okay, and do you have health insurance? Does the Thai government give her insurance? How does that work here in Thailand? Can you ask her? Okay. She has a government insurance. But the government insurance isn't good? Or? It doesn't cover all of that. She okay. to pay 600 baht. 600 baht is like the co-pay every time for her leg. Yes. We don't have to pay every time, right? We don't have to pay every time. 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 Okay. She went to the government hospital before. But the Soviet is so bad and she yeah. has to wait all day and uh, the hospital that she is using right now is a uh, private hospital so she has to pay 600 bucks. I heard based off of my Thai friends, you're, you live here so I heard that it's always better to go to a private hospital than right. a public hospital. Right, right. Wow. So it gets expensive very fast because 600 baht is like, um, that's like $20 every time you got to go to physical therapy. Yeah, it adds up very quickly. So basically... You want to take me to your friend's barbershop? Yeah, she has a barbershop. Okay, can you tell her maybe I'll come back later this week? Explain that. You guys are leaving, so we have a lot of things to do. Can you explain okay. it to her? Uh, she has a lot of... Uh, can you tell her that um, the reason I'm here is because I want her to take some few days off Ask her if she's actually gonna take some few days off if I if I ask her to take a few days off. Because she didn't listen last time. Yes. So Millie, look, I, I brought I brought something for you. Look, I brought something for you. Yes. I, no, I brought something for you. So it's not just for me. I I have a lot of people on the internet. Can you explain that love her? That care about her. Can you tell her that she's changed the life of not just me but so many people around the world? And can you tell her that people have people from can you tell her that people from all over the world every single day ask me for updates about her, that everybody's worried about her? And that so many people have helped donate money to me 
to provide to her. And um, today, that's what we're gonna do. Yeah, really. Um, today, look, today, I'm gonna give you, look, $3,000. $100,000 Thai bots for you. This is, this is for you, this is for you to feel better, to go home, go rest. Look, can you explain it to her that this is for her? Can you explain that this is for her to go home, get some rest, take care of her leg for once in her life to not worry about everyone else and to worry about herself? Can you tell her? Tell her that she wor she worries about everybody else so much. She loves everybody else so much, but it's time for her to go and relax and worry about herself for a little bit. I know. Well, Billy, this is. Look, can you tell her that this is a lot of money and she needs to take this to the bank right now or put it somewhere safe? Okay, Yes, you deserve it though. You know why this you know why this happened? Because the first day you met me, you showed me so much love. You you come you protected me from the rain and I was just a stranger. And that's why good things come to those people who are good people. And can you explain it to her that this isn't from me, this is from the world. I my the money I put in here is very little. Like this is this comes from the world. So like Please, um, I just want her to feel feel the love that everybody feels for her. Please take this. This is your purse, your new purse. Look. <laughs> That's your new purse, okay? Relax now. Go take some break. Don't work so hard, okay? Go relax. I care about you so much. I care about you so much, okay? I want to see you happy. I want to see you healthy. I want to I want to come back to Bangkok in a few weeks and I want to see you healthy again and happy and strong.
x-ray, yeah, everything, yeah. yeah. And now it's only like once a month, no, one, once a week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love you. Okay. Now look, can you tell her that that is a lot of money and right now she needs to leave the streets and go put it away in the bank, take it home because it's not safe to be here with that, you know? Kind person, kind people, kind people get treated kind in this world. Thank you, Mili. I'm so happy. I'm so happy I met you. You changed my life. And I think about you all the time. much and it's not for me it's from everybody so um, we all want to see you recover so pay for your physical therapy and take a few days off of work okay? yeah, you know, tell her tell her tell her that she probably won't do it but tell her please everybody would love to see it for once in her life tell her take like one week off don't show up for one week like one week of your life. Thank you guys to everyone. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you everyone. Thank you so much, so much. We love you, okay? We love you so much. Thank you for everything that you do for for me and Gladys. Every time we come, it means so much to me. Seriously. I want to see you better, okay? Can you tell her that now? She said, you know, I love Two years. Two years now. Two years we know each other. She didn't know at first that it would become a very good relationship and bonding. I know. Me neither. Me neither. But I'm so happy. Tell her, I'm so happy you protected me from the rain that day because I wouldn't have met you. Thank you. 
ไปใหญ่กันตังเจอกันคนเดียวใช่ she she would do it for even you are stranger but she can see that you it's because of pouring rain and she get can do something for someone ไม่ได้คิดว่าวันนั้นเสร็จปุ๊บก็ไม่ได้คิดอะไรนะเพราะก็มาหาแม่ก็ตกใจมาหาแม่ I think that's him ถ้าทำป้ายมาให้ Wow, that's amazing. See, you do things out of the kindness of your heart and it pays forward, guys. And you're also going to get that back with so many other blessings. And I think that we've been able to prove that in this in this series. And Mili's a great example of a wonderful person. Now, can you tell Mili that we want to help her pack up her stuff so that she can get out of here today because she needs to go home now? Yes, <laughs> She wants to stay here. <laughs> She's gonna stay and work. Okay, okay. It's probably a good day for her, huh? It's probably good for business. Good business today. Yeah, it's Chinese New Year Sunday. She's just gonna sleep, huh? Yeah, that's what I'm telling you, man. Old ladies are the same everywhere in the world. They never want to relax, man. She's gonna be back here tomorrow. <laughs> you're, you're gonna. Tell her she. She's the type of person to go to the doctor. The doctor says stay home, and she comes straight to work, huh? <laughs> That's you. No good. You're like my grandma. No good. Well, it's so nice seeing you, okay? I hope that, that, that helps you so much. I come back. I'll come back. We eat. This week. This week, we come and eat. Thursday. Thursday. Can you tell her I come Thursday for lunch? Yeah, it's okay. Oh, okay. Thursday. She likes being with you, huh? Yeah, I know, because we can talk. I know. We can eat that. You can understand each other. I know, it's better. Google Drive, yeah. We're always using Google Translate when we talk. I need to find Krishna every time. I'm, I'll, I'll bring a friend. I'll bring a friend. I'll find somebody. Okay. Tell her one day I'm going to surprise her. I'm going to come back here and speak Thai. But I just haven't started learning yet. I need to. <laughs> one one day. Okay. Okay. You speak Thai. One day I'm learning. I'll learn little by little. I'm gonna see you soon, okay? Okay, we'll put the camera down guys and I'll say bye here in a second. We'll just say bye to Mili and then we'll continue on. Chris, thank you so much. I'm super grateful for you. Please, guys, if there's anything that I want, let's get away from this music. If there's anything that I want you guys to do because of this video, it's to please, of course, share this video. Let's like it, let's share it. And who knows, if you guys want to see more of this, then let me know down in the com in the comment section and we can make GoFundMes all around the world and man, we can change some lives. We can change lives. Imagine retiring a street food worker or like doing crazy stuff like that. And you know, a lot of you guys, there was a couple $200 donations into GoFundMe, but man, a lot of people donated even $5. And it shows that like $5 goes a long way. So uh, thank you guys so much, but please follow Chris's channel. Hi. She makes amazing content in Chiang Rai. And once again, it's Chris. Chiang Rai girl. Chris, a Chiang Rai girl. And the link is also going to be pinned in the comment section. And of course, you got Brad. Where is Brad? Where is Brad? What's up, guys? Sawat Dik Hop. Go check out his channel. He has videos from all around the world. And we just got done filming so many together. So if you want to see some videos, me and more videos as well, um, check out Brad's channel. We filmed some crazy stuff like the last few weeks. It's been, it's been wild, man. 
we've done some incredible things. So um, please go leave them some comments. Tell them that you came from this video. Show them love without Chris. This video wouldn't have been possible. And Brad, without you helping me with the camera, it, it would have been pretty impossible too. So I'm super grateful for you guys. Um, I love having you guys as friends and I'm so happy for their future, man. They're about to move to America together. Like after two years of being together, that's huge. So thank you guys so much, man. Yeah, Always love you, seeing man. you guys. It's so much fun. And yeah, thank you guys for making this possible. Um, now I'm gonna let you guys go. It's time to get rid of this shirt, man. My armpits are just ridiculous right now. Like this is Bangkok though, man. Like that's why I gotta wear black shirts, but yeah, I'm out of here. I gotta get my life together now. <laughs> Later, guys. You're always modern.